It's gonna be a good session today. We got a good session today. Babe, identity I theft's a serious, serious crime. crime. <laughs> Oh, are you ready for a life update video? Hobbs, are you? Girlfriend, are you ready for a life You're update sorry, video? Sorry, I'm in my grill. But it's a GoPro, so it's okay. YouTube, are you ready for a life update video? Guys, where has Steve Cook been? Really? I thought it was funny. Turns out my girlfriend's a YouTube troll as well. Oh, awesome! I but for real, we have a lot of footage from what we've been up to since Biggest Loser. I wrapped that up in December, pretty much lasted all of September, all of October, November, and then part of December. And then I went off to Australia, had a great time. I'm gonna show you all of this footage. I just kind of talked to you guys. Yes, I'm still in my house. I actually put this house up for sale and it sold. And then <laughs> the lady who bought it got into some, we'll just say uh, some trouble with the law. But now we're back into it and we love it. Hubs, you wanna go for a ride? Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go for a ride. Out the door. Here we go. Get to the roush. Get to the roush. Get to your seat. Go this way. This way. Okay, that's your seat up there. Let's go. Let's go. Whoa, you jumped. You jumped so high and you're in your seat. Good boy, you did so well. Best investment of my life. So I still got this Roush. I still got this girlfriend who steals my <laughs> sunglasses. These aren't yours. Uh, are we wearing the same pair? These are mine. But I'm pretty sure we're wearing the same pair. They sent me these ones, no we're not. What do they say on the inside? Mine are the dusk, movement dusk. Mine Yours are the, are the dusk. <laughs> Don't lie. <laughs> Who had them first? I love that we can be twenty. I love that my girlfriend loves me enough that she will match me. Another life update: the new Steve Cook line from Gymshark. All the way around. Here, you want to hold it? Yeah. Can just kind of strip my stuff on the catwalk. I'm too sexy for my car. Too sexy for my car. Too sexy by far. I still got this uh, truck. Go ahead and start it up. Oh, you're naughty. You're a naughty pet. You're a naughty pet. Pretty nice right there, huh? So I don't have a Raptor. Everyone thinks I have a Raptor. I have a 750 horsepower V8 Roush. Alec is back in Australia. As another life update. He stayed there after Christmas time. We have some visa issues and then also just trying to figure out my travel schedule. I would like to get him back here because obviously he's a big part of these YouTube videos and getting them up on time and it's just a lot harder for me to do it all by himself. I'm not saying I can't, I'm just saying I like having Alec around. He's a good guy when it comes to content. He's just a good guy in general. You ready for breakfast? get in and explain what has been going on in my life because there's been a lot we're gonna sit down and we're gonna have a little bit of coffee well, i'm gonna have coffee i'm gonna have avocado toast and we're gonna have our favorite avocado toast from our favorite place feel love here in st george they get good avocado toast And then I'll do a almond milk latte, but small. What's the like the sunset? Yeah, it'll be good. You guys, look how cool this is. Not my background. That is cool. That was in White Sands while I was taking a break from YouTube. But this is the cool part. Boom. Sorry, I asked for a charger. Oh, you did? Yeah. Okay. That's okay. Perfect. Thank you. This is amazing. You did ask for it without the balsamic vinegar. We got it on camera. Can I get mine without the vinegar too? What would you guys do in that situation? I'm gonna get that for a tattoo. What do you think? I almost did get a tattoo. Speaking of that, let's jump to our Tulum content where I almost got the tattoo. But more importantly, we just had a great vacation because I was done filming The Biggest Loser. And I was like, hey, let's go to Tulum. Roll that footage. Hello. Hola. Hola! Uh, yeah. Baby bird, baby bird! No, okay. <laughs> <laughs>
this one. I just fingered your mouth. That's so inappropriate. That's disgusting. This is your mom's favorite YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. Yes. No. Yeah. Mom, are you watching this? There's so many moms out there that say, I love watching Steve's wholesome content. Wholesome content. Ever since that Morgan Sucks. girl came around. <laughs> Disgusting. Just been. Feral. Ass and titties. Ass and Stop. 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 No. No. We're not. No. We're zooming in on your bag. <laughs> now it's just bag. Inappropriate. So we're heading down to the Tulum jungle gym we'll be working out there the next four days or so i'm really stoked to see this gym making our way down to the beach here if you were stranded on a desert island with one person who would it be sorry babe mine would be jack bauer mine wouldn't be you though it wouldn't no what i just don't know if you're good with me but you could eat me that's true and you got a lot of muscle in nice to meet you here are the owners of the gym here, Katie and Ali. What possessed you guys to open up a gym in Tulum, Mexico? We didn't really set off to do that. I was just working in the winter time as a, a trainer here. Huh? And I started off with like just putting a chin up bar and a box on the beach. And then we just developed more and more equipment until we had enough equipment to kind of have our own space and gym. This looks amazing. Look at this squat rack right here. Let's do it. All right, first exercise of the day, starting off with this great view outside Tulum Jungle Gym here. As if. You got it, babe. One rep. <laughs> <You're so heavy. laughs> we need to put rocks in there. Okay. <laughs> Third set, going for eight reps. How much do you weigh? 60. 60 kilos. And then we have another 22 kilos. Yeah. 82 kilos for this last one, which actually isn't that much, but with this heavy duty rope it's and everything, it's a little clunky. Ready to go for a ride? Post grip. <laughs> We're gonna give it a go to attempt to pull you two up. It was a little heavy <laughs> on, on the other one, but I think we can do it. Probably the strongest narrow grip. Yeah, narrow grip. And then lean back as well. Yeah, lean back. Go, Steve! Go, Steve! Yeah! That's my man! Perfect form. <laughs> Perfect for Steve. Definitely not counting those as full reps. Reading this hit me in the feels today. The less you respond to negative people, the more peaceful your life becomes. Surround yourself with positive people here. We met Katie and Allie, owners of this gym yesterday. That's not just a quote. You can tell that's what they live by. Living here in paradise, they definitely are positive people. All right, second exercises. We're gonna be using the heavier than they look dumbbells. So the cool thing about this is, you know, you can be using 80 pounds and it looks like you have 250 pounds in dumbbells. So bent over a row, single arm, using the bench right there, making sure we squeeze to that lower lat. So I'll just show you how. This looks like it's so heavy. And it's weird because it makes you keep it away from your body yeah. It's different. It's a different feel. And the pump after last night's food is amazing. All right, let's film on this. Oh, hi. This is a good light. Ooh. I'm getting eaten alive by mosquitoes here. Everywhere. Look, my tricep got a bit. It's so swollen right now. <laughs> <laughs> you just popped right out. Whatever. How's those lats? I feel like you got really good lats. Oh, yeah. Flex them, babe. Go. Like Look at Morgan's back. No, get wide. There you go. That's it. For never competing. Yeah, you can tell you're a swimmer and a gymnast. I would say your back's probably back and shoulders. We love my back. We won't mention the other part that I love. nine feet in the air and she's planning on handstanding on top of his head you are a daredevil you just twist out from nine feet in the air yeah. oh my god 
gosh. I'm dropping the phone and trying to catch you if that's the case. No. Oh, okay. What? Ooh. That's There's crazy. No way I can do one arm up here. Yeah, don't try, please. That's insane. Some people will say it's photoshopped. How are you doing now? You need help? No. Look at that. Graceful. Like a gorilla. <laughs> How you doing? I'm tired. That sun. Yeah. Gives you a nice juicy pump, that's for sure, right? Oh, sh oh snap, you just flexed on him. Awesome gym, we'll be training here pretty much every single day. I didn't show you guys the bicep workout just because I wanted to get it done, but we did three exercises, no, four exercises, two sets for each thing. So my biceps are one of those things that they just grow if I just look at them. If Morgan just gives them a little bit of love, like compliments, if she just says, man, babe, you did you just kiss my biceps? Yeah, that's, I was giving them some love. I'm so sweaty. So great. All right, leave in the comments below what do you guys want to see us train next, and we'll do that. We're going to go work on our tans. More importantly, Tulum was probably one of my favorite vacations ever. We literally just worked out, ate good food, chilled on the beach, the water was super warm, and it was pretty much exactly what I needed because before that, nine weeks with four days off. So training on The Biggest Loser, there was no other trainers on set, there was no days off. Every single workout for nine weeks, I wrote and put them through. But like I said, I had four days off in nine weeks, so that Tulum trip in November was so needed. And poor Morgan, she did some handstand seminars around the US. Originally, I was gonna go with her to different cities, New York, Miami, and I was gonna do some seminars where I was just gonna you know, travel with her and show her the US. Then I found out I was gonna be the trainer on The Biggest Loser. I was kinda like, well, yeah, come on over. You know, I'll be in Santa Fe. You can come do your seminars and then just in between come back to Santa Fe and hang out with me. You know, I was on set 10 hours a day on average. So filming TV is way different than filming YouTube. And I actually couldn't film any of my own YouTube or even really get Instagram content because I couldn't tell people where I was at and I couldn't tell people what I was doing. And for somebody that does YouTube and Instagram, it was difficult at times for me to feel like, you know, I was being true to myself because I wasn't doing Doing those things that I'd always done but it all worked out in the end and then took off to Australia and again I was you know just coming off of a lot of work for three or four months so the idea was to go over spend the holidays with Morgan's family I had never met her dad her mom her brother so going over to Australia to meet them have Christmas with them went to Byron Bay my birthday was December 10th and I was actually filming the biggest loser stuff for the finale on my birthday so when I got to uh, Australia and saw Morgan she had a surprise waiting for me and that surprise was something that I've always wanted to do but was very very nervous to do because I hate heights so let's roll that footage there we go all right Woo! in the car driving on the wrong side of the road we actually just got pulled over random breathalyzer tests you could do that here I guess in Australia they just have a checkpoint where they pull you over at 8 in the morning and give you a breathalyzer so one of those things you can do in Australia that the police can't do in America Sure. They can do it for alcohol consumption, drug consumption, license checks. Gains consumption? <laughs> no, no, maybe that was cheesy. So, heading to the skydive place. I've never skydived, you've skydived how many times? Three times. Three times. Three times. I'm so proud of you, you're just turning into such a little daredevil. How, how scared was I last night though? He was Googling the last incident that has happened with Skydive Australia. Oh, like, no, just the last skydiving incident in general. Australia, period. They just happened to be with Skydive Australia. You're not going with me today. No, I know. I'm so sad I about it. I wanted to watch you. I can't watch you from up there because I would have jumped me. out first. Help me. I'm scared. <laughs> it's be a good time. Crossing fingers. The weather looks a little bit hazy because of all the fires. There's a lot of bad fires about four hours that way and it's still making us very, very smoky. See if I can even, you know, jump today. Maybe I, maybe they won't let me jump. They, they will let you Maybe jump. it's too fiery. They, they, they would have sent out a warning well, if that's the case. Maybe they didn't want to. Maybe we should turn around. No, maybe we knocked. You're going to jump out of a plane today. She you can't force like me. You. You're not my mom. I will get up there and push you out of <laughs> the plane. <laughs> Awkward dancing. Because he's nervous for his jump. Your best awkward dancing go. 
Come Hi. on, come Hi. on. <laughs> Waiting in line to jump out of an airplane. Who does that? Come on, awkward dance, babe. Yeah. <laughs> How much do you think I was? I don't know. I'm gonna find out. Say 97 kilos. Awesome. 95.4? It's barely over the limit. <laughs> Are we ready to go? Throw me on the plane. Wait, do I look official? Yeah, you do. How do you feel? I feel nervous now. Decked out. I am decked out. That's gonna be you. What is? That one there. The girl? Yeah. Your cheeks are gonna go wild. <laughs> <laughs> like that? Is that pretty good? <laughs> it's like a motorboat and stuff. You motorboat and son of a bitch, you old sailor. Yeah, I've quoted that way too many times I on know. my YouTube. Man jumps in style. Yeah, man. Look at that, in style. Uh, <laughs> hey, Steve. Yeah. What's going on, man? Ready to jump out of a plane. Oh, crazy idea, isn't it? <laughs> kind of a silly idea. You but feel good? I'm a little bit nervous. I, was, I didn't think I was going to be nervous, but now I'm a little yeah. nervous. Yeah. I'm very nervous as well, man. <laughs> yeah, it's my first time. <laughs> Any message to friends or family? Uh, Maybe your last chance. Oh, like a last, a last thing. Yeah. Um, hey, take good care of Hobbs, okay, babe? <laughs> <laughs> and about you? You nervous or not? Nah, no, nah, it's all good. <laughs> all right. Welcome to Australia. Come Thank to Byron you. Bay. Thank you. Let's go. Let's do this. and that was <laughs> so much fun. That first like three seconds out of the plane, you're just like, what? And then you kind of relax for the minute and it's fun, thank you. Thank you very much, man. You. The big question now is, could you do again? Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, man. <laughs> right on, buddy. Hi. Good time. Right. <laughs> yeah. oh, I'm back. I'm you team. enjoyed it? He called your name all the time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> But well, we did this thing on the parachute. I think that was scarier than actually jumping out of the plane. Did you do flip? The spiral thing. Yeah. That was. I was like, oh shit, it was like a roller coaster ride. How was it? Oh, it was Babe, wild. I think the scariest part was the actually going out of the plane, seeing everyone just there, yeah. and then all of a sudden disappear. <laughs> yeah. I may have closed my eyes for the first two yeah. seconds. And then it's like, uh, you kind of lose your breath for a second because you're going so fast. Yeah. But then you calm down, and I don't know, every it? little move, you're like, are we okay? We're gonna die. <laughs> so it was good though. What? Skydiving was so insane. We went back and actually editing this vlog, we realized that parachute didn't open at first. He looked up and was looking at it and literally was like, what the heck? He had to move it around. I got so freaking nervous because going into it, I was a little bit sketched out. I, you can kind of tell I'm nervous because I'm talking a lot and I'm like dancing around beforehand, but it was a trip. It was such an adrenaline rush. Definitely a really cool experience. Glad I checked that off my bucket list. So after we did skydiving, we pretty much just enjoyed Australia. We spent Christmas time with our family in Byron Bay, drank beers on the beach, and just relaxed after a crazy couple weeks. I came back from Australia in January, and then it was gearing up for the Biggest Loser release. So I came back, and then I went out to New York City for the release, or for the first episode, basically, for the premiere. Crazy stuff happens while I'm in New York, so let's roll that footage because New York's always a good time. Well, hello. It's only my third time in New York City and I'm here for The Biggest Loser. I'm gonna be on a Today Show. I'm doing some other stuff here, so it's pretty wild. But right now, I got a day off. So I'm gonna go see what kind of trouble I can get into. Maybe go do some shopping, because New York, you gotta do shopping. Maybe go get a workout. I haven't been feeling super good. I literally didn't sleep last night. I'm just feeling achy, so I decided to get out here and walk. And it is cold, but New York just has a crazy energy. New York, London, you know, cities that I feel like just have crazy, crazy energy. So I'm out here walking around, like I said, maybe have some New York pizza or, or do something fun before tomorrow. But definitely gonna go try to grab a workout somewhere. Take you guys along. I'm walking here. I'm walking and vlogging. I'm walking and vlogging.
tell you who doesn't miss out on squat day? Her, right there. Does not miss out on squat day. So I'm in Times Square right now. Yesterday, like I said, I wasn't feeling well. It was just a weird day. Learned about Kobe Bryant's passing and his daughter, obviously. And when something like that happens, I feel like it just makes you realize you're human. And you can go at any second, at any point in this life, and you better make the most of it. Just a weird vibe. Threw me off. Even today, walking around just feels like something off. So when one man can have that kind of impact and shift kind of the world. It's amazing what you can do as a human being, what you're capable of. I better get off of this because I'm crossing streets while talking to you guys. Might not be the safest thing, but like I said, here in the middle of Times Square, I think tonight the Empire State Building is going to be purple and gold for the Lakers for Kobe. So we're gonna try to check that out. Times Square is just massive. All right guys, it is the last day here in New York City. We came we did the premiere of The Biggest Loser. I got to see a little bit of the city, did a little bit of walking around, little tourist stuff, went to Times Square and everything else. But I'm on my way right now to uh, NBC Studios. Gotta do some wrap up stuff, thoughts about this season and last night's episode. I wanna know what you guys thought about Biggest Loser's episode last night. So let me know in the comments below what you guys think. For me, it was actually the hardest episode all season long because saying goodbye to Rob. Rob and I just had a really good connection that you know i felt like he was team captain i felt like he was somebody that you know could have gone really far lost 13 pounds i think he lost the most weight on my team in terms of just the total poundage but fell just below that yellow line because it's all in the ratio of your total body weight so it was really tough to see him go home i was emotional and it kind of got punched in the stomach kind of woke me up a little bit that i needed to do everything that i could to keep my team there make sure you guys watch stay tuned for next week it airs tuesday night 9 p.m Eastern time, 8 p.m. Central time. <sighs> Honestly, watching back that footage, the whole Kobe Bryant experience, being in New York for that, I'll never forget where I was when I heard that. And I'll never forget, like for two or three days, I was in a funk. And it was so weird because I didn't know the guy personally. I actually saw him once when he announced his retirement. I was at the same event where he announces the retirement at and saw him from a distance. But just the impact he had on sports and everything was crazy. So was, I was kind of in a funk in New York, didn't feel super great and just had been traveling so much. So after New York, the premiere of The Biggest Loser, things are hyped up and come back to Utah and Morgan comes back to the US, which I was definitely looking forward to and we kind of get back into a rhythm a little bit, but I'm still kind of feeling out of sorts with just my own social media, YouTube. Part of it's because tons of traveling and part of it was because I hadn't done it for like four months. When we were in Australia, we kind of filmed things here and there. You know, I had deadlines coming up. I had things that I agreed to to post. It was kind of just like, oh, I, I need to get back into things, but it's January blues going into February now. So all along, I'm thinking I need to get back to vlogging. I need to start doing these things, but I'm just burnt out basically. I'm just, you know, I'm just wanting to do nothing. My training's very, very average. You know, I'd say it's probably three times a week. And it's the first time in my life I've really experienced like fatigue to a point where I, I don't want to do anything. So here's footage of us going up skiing, having a good time and uh, you know, Valentine's Day, hanging out with your sweetheart. Hi guys. We're gonna go up snowboarding, get about a 90 minute drive up from St. George to Brian Head where we will be staying in an Airbnb and skiing or snowboarding. We also have Hobbs along. Hobbs, you're a good boy. Dad and mom love you. What'd you see? A deer? A deer. A deer. I actually forgot to tell you guys, it is Valentine's Day as well, so this is our little Valentine's Day trip. We go I'm so excited. It's so beautiful out here. Just started getting into some snow, so it's starting to make this little Australian happy to see snow. And this little animal, <laughs> whatever he is. I'm starving. Are you starving? I'm starving. <laughs> If you're hungry, then I'm hungry. That's, That's how it works. You eat just as much, if not more than I do. It's true. It's true. You gotta love a girl who can eat. But you know what? She does share pretty well. You do. I share with you Very pretty well. well. I literally do not share with anyone else in my life. <laughs> but I am okay with Steve eating. He has to have at least one bite of everything that I have, even if he's just eating the same thing. 100%. I just want to make sure yours isn't poison and it doesn't taste better than mine. <laughs> All right, guys. 
we got to our cabin here. How dope is this? It's an old cabin, but it has this little living room that turns into a projection HBO, screen. Netflix. Yeah, HBO, Netflix. Got a little fireplace back there. We got the wine and some chocolates because it is Valentine's Day. This is what we had for dinner tonight. Get at me. I guess people that don't eat your crust, Morgan is. I'm not, obviously. Uh, uh, I do eat my crust sometimes. And then sometimes I'm just not feeling it, you know? Babe, okay, this light is clutch for vlogs. I feel like it's too clutch. Oh, here, watch this. Party time. Party time. Let's go. All right, that's even brighter. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. 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 You're such a snowboarder. <laughs> so we're talking about Literally snowboarding or skiing. I think skiing's dope. I've done it more. I've done snowboarding too. But I think skiing, I like it because you don't have to put on your damn snowboard. What do you think of the elevation up here? We're at 10,000 feet, by the way. We walked like 20 steps and I, I felt so unfit. How did you feel after walking up all the How did you steps? do? <laughs> Honestly, that elevation's a bucket. All right, we're getting back to watching murder mysteries because that's what we do. Happy Valentine's Day, babe. Happy Valentine's Day. Let's watch some murders. <laughs> all right, good morning. Good morning. Just took Hobbs for a little poop and pee because he hadn't in a while and he was starting Too to... much information. Oh, is it? Yeah, that's with disgusting. With Hobbs. Yep. No, if you said it, it would be. Not with Hobbs. It was hilarious to watch him try to figure out where to go to the bathroom in the snow because he's never been before. Hey, you did okay though. Come here. Hey. Hey. He's crazy you did well. Today. Yeah, he's a little bit wild. Usually we go on a walk at home and you just coop up in this cabin. We all got cabin fever. We're going freaking crazy, man! Ah! Ah! So we're gonna go get a picture in the snow from Morgan right now. It's a good boyfriend's do. Take pictures of the girlfriend in the snow. Did you just tell him you take pictures of me? Yeah. Well, you know what? What? I do you, you do me. I scratch your back, you scratch mine. Really? Yeah. All right. Morgan's gonna take a picture of me in the snow too. Yeah, if you want one. Deal. Oh, look! Little Morgan Luhu is vlogging. Little Hobbs is what sharking. Is this Halloween. is breakfast with some oats and a coffee uh, and some dark chocolate is. almonds. It's 9:25, babe. The hill opens in Wait, five minutes. Work. She's been so worried about, what if I'm not good? What if I'm not ready? I'm just like, babe, you're gonna do great. You did not she say that. She wasn't ready. You didn't even say that. I did say you're gonna no, you do didn't. great. I said you're an athlete. Yeah, you did. You, however, are not. You would not do great snowboarding. You might do decent Positive because- Positive reinforcement, Steven. Even for our children? Yes. Okay, all right. Even Main goal of today, not get hurt. That's We're actually funny. putting on Is TV. You? I'm gonna choose to, to read instead of watch TV this morning. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just getting over getting sick too, so today no, should be interesting. He's getting sick. I'm fine. No, oh, I'm getting over getting sick is what I said. Oh, you're getting older and then getting sick. Getting... <laughs> I heard you the first time. Yo! We started off with a little baby run and now this is our first run on the big, big hill. Run. It's pretty warm out actually. It's like probably like 30, 32, 33, so just around freezing. Let it on. I'm getting ready. I'm a little bit nervous. Are you? Yeah. I think the hardest part about this is going to be getting off of the chairlift. Did you just see that guy come straight down doing a massive air? Did we're he? not going down that way. Hey, we're going out there. Yeah, we can go over there. Yeah. Do a little bit of this, a little bit of that. It'll be good. Does that work? Yeah. And if you end up down the bottom quicker because you're better. I'll wait. Just wait for me down there. Okay. Should we film and see how you do getting off? Yeah, maybe. Okay. Oh, I feel like I want to fall off here. No, nah, you're so good. It's gonna slow down big time. Oh, oh no, it's not, it's yeah, so yeah, quick. Yeah. It's slowing, look, see, nice and slow. <laughs> oh, oh, good job, baby girl. You didn't even fall. I didn't fall, you go first. You want me to go first? Yeah. Okay. So nah, you're all right. Just go like, just go look. Remember, just heel side. Let's see how she does. Let's see how she does. She's coming down nice and slow. Oh, and she fell. Look at that. Awesome view. How's she doing? She's back up there. Gonna wait for her for a second. Nothing's more frustrated when you're learning. Nice. You got it. I really do find it easier to snowboard when you have a little bit of speed. If it's like too flat and you're trying to go straight, it's hard to keep your balance. So if you're just new to snowboarding, I'm not saying speed is your friend. You're saying you need a little bit of speed in order to go heel side, toe side, heel side, toe side. Oh. 
and I'm down. Ah, oh, there's my dirty girl. Dirty girl playing in the dumpster. Oh, you're such a dirty girl. You want girl. to? Girl. You're such a dirty girl. 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 <laughs> you dirty, dirty, dirty girl. Dirty girl. Dirty, dirty girl. No, that's, that's a different accent, babe. So we're just throwing some belt? stuff Is away. Is that checking? You checking the belt yeah, out? Yeah, no, that's a check of, I'm checking the belt. Okay. And the receipt. So hopefully you liked everything. Um, we came, we yeah, saw, we, we skied, snowboarded, the and then uh, we decided to leave early because we're not cold weather people, we decided. <laughs> Who would have known all this time? Such pain, <laughs> such anguish. Stop, that's not the moth. Yeah, mm. we all wear masks, metaphorically speaking. Uh, no, such pain, such anguish is off of Dumb and Dumber. Wow. So, um, our little boy, we need to leave because apparently dogs are frowned upon up in this establishment. That pretty much catches this up to today. It's now beginning of March, basically. You're here. Hi. 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 They Hi. just watched all of our stuff. Oh, from yeah. how long ago? From pretty much Tulum on. So oh my goodness. Well, it's it's been like six we've been, months. We've been hanging out a lot. Yeah. You love me? Yeah, I love you. <laughs> but starting to feel a little bit more, you know, rejuvenated with our training. Obviously, if you guys are watching this on Thursday, we had Monday's vlog, there was the Battle of the Sexes, which is kind of something that's fun that we're doing. You kicked my butt in that one, by the I way. I know. <laughs> <laughs> um, getting back into the YouTube swing, getting back into posting more content, feeling a little bit better. I want to actually apologize too, because I had a deadline on a agreement with Dr. Squatch, who was a company that I used even out in Tulum. I did that. I thought doing a skincare routine coming back to YouTube was a good way to do that. Branded content and I just want to apologize for being gone and then coming back with a video like that. Um, that's not how I would have typically done things but it's in the past looking forward. I appreciate you guys watching this content. Um, if you guys are still here watching thank you and uh, from now on trying to do Monday Thursday uploads. Monday is always more fitness related. Uh, Thursday is going to be more vlog stuff so we have a busy couple weeks my gymshark line releases this month i've been teasing it release that today honey yeah you today actually We're, today. yeah it is today so i'm actually going to be posting that crazy process that i'll be posting more about it's going to release later this month i can't give the exact date we're going to england for a pop-up next week well we don't know when we're going because of the freaking coronavirus so yeah we had to cancel half of our holiday we're supposed to go to italy my mom's never been out of the country i have an aunt and uncle that are on an lds mission in rome so i was going to take my mom and stepdad we were going to go to italy because they've never been out of the country see them go visit family in spain and then go to england for my pop-up coronavirus is really effing up everything thanks coronavirus um <laughs> uh, <laughs> especially <laughs> in italy because Italy's one of the worst places. It is the worst place outside of anywhere in Asia for coronavirus. Mm. There's over a thousand cases. So trying to figure out what we're doing with that. So life is still crazy, but trying to, again, stay on top of training and staying on top of YouTube content. And you guys, let us know what you wanna see ahead in this YouTube channel. One video a week will be fitness stuff. Another video will be- Whatever. 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 Morgan's here until April and then she's gonna go back to Australia. And then maybe you're gonna come over for good in August, July? Yeah. 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 We Supplements are going to be re releasing hopefully in June. We've been making a lot of headway with that. So a lot of stuff that like, I haven't been able to show on YouTube ever since um, Biggest Loser started. I've just been so out of sorts with YouTube. So this is me committing back to YouTube and again, apologizing to you guys and saying thank you. It's been a long you. time coming. It has. You're back. You're back on track. Welcome back. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome. Oh my God, whoa, oh, whoa. For sure. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Uh. Subscribe and give this video a like. I'm a YouTuber again. Let's go jump in the ocean. Rachel. Oh. <laughs> She wins. And I broke my necklace!